Hello ladies and gents, it's Spoonie Pizzas here with another Pro Evolution Soccer 2019 video. Today I'm bringing you the dipping shot tutorial. Now I know a lot of you have been struggling with this shot and it is very very hard to do but I guarantee you by the end of this tutorial you, yes you, will be able to perform this shot easily. 100% guaranteed. So without further ado, what's the dipping shot? This is the dipping shot that Pogba's pulling off here. You may think it's a knuckle shot, but more on that later, But because it's not. So you can see there, the wicked dip is causing the keeper all sorts of problems. When you're going to practice, I want you to go to free training and make sure you select the Coupe Stadium. There's a reason for this, which I'll touch on later. The player must have dipping shot in their player skills. As you can see here, Paul Pogba has dipping shot. But he also has knuckle shot. So there's a number of things you have to do in order to perform a dipping shot. And this is why it's so difficult for many users to actually pull it off. So let's start with the optimum shooting range. So I've highlighted there in yellow the optimum shooting range. And this is the reason I said choose the uh, Dekip Stadium because you can see the... Uh, the pitch lines are nice and straight and you can get an idea of where I'm taking the shot and you can sort of copy that when you do your training. So the first step, make sure you're walking. Do not sprint. If you sprint, you'll never pull this uh, pull this dipping shot off. I, uh, I've tried it many, many times. You can't do it. Secondly, once you finish walking, you need to release all controls. And what you need to do, the ball has to be separated from the player only by um, a very short length. If you go back and rewind and set YouTube to like 0.25 speed, you watch how I set the ball before I strike it. So there's a little bit of a gap there between the player and the ball. The next step is to press and hold the shoot button until you've got 70% power. Do not touch the analog sticks at this point. If you touch the analog sticks, it will not work. Then step four, aim after releasing the shoot button. In this example, I am aiming directly at the goalkeeper. So just in case you thought I was cheating, I thought I'd do this with Jesse Lingard. He's only got the dipping shot, as you can see here. He hasn't got the knuckle shot. Now I'm going to teach you the easy way to do the dipping shot. It's all about setting the ball before striking it. Firstly, to halt your player and make him face goal, just release all your controls and hold your sprint button, which is probably RB, your right bumper, or R1 if you're on a PS4 controller. Then, step one, you need to set the ball. When I say set the ball, I mean just roll it out in front of him like I said, creating that distance. So all you need to do is hold your right trigger and flick the right analog stick in the direction you wish to shift the ball. I would recommend shifting it to their stronger foot. Step two, make sure you release all of your controls. Step three, hold the shoot button for 70% power. You may not see the power bar as you can see in this example, Make sure you do not touch the analog sticks at all at this point. Step four, the final step, aim just before your player is making contact with the ball. In this example, I aim straight at the goal, holding the left analog stick directly to the right. That, ladies and gentlemen, concludes the tutorial. Hope you found the video useful. If you did, hit that like button. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. My name is Spoonie Pizzas. Thank you for joining me and I'll catch you again in my next tutorial. Thanks a lot guys. Bye bye.